Hi there, Dan Kellett from 123 Museum. And we've got a fantastic new update to our IMG. And that is that we've been able to um, connect it to Google Photos. Um, Google Photos has been a while for, uh, around for quite a while. And um, they recently updated their systems. And so the old Google Photos, which was connected to um, Picasa, um, is, was no longer able to be used, but they have now connected it all to their Google Drive. And they've got a brand spanking new um, interface, and that's what you're looking at right now. And so this is, uh, this is the, the Google Photos um, albums that we have put together uh, for showcasing our IMG widget. Um, so um, if you don't already have a, a Gmail account or a Google account, um, you set up and with a with a Gmail um, email address, and here you can see this is the the two options you have for your photos. So when you get this high quality unlimited storage, you see here it says great visual quality at reduced file size. That's just because they compress the images, but they still will look fantastic on the web. Or you can go for the fifteen gigabyte. Of storage which is still fantastic um, but that's if you want to put full resolution ones up. Um, let me just click into um, one of the pictures here just to show you in one of our albums and and here is a is a panorama that I stitched together and you can see that it's it's still fantastic quality even though it's been compressed. Right so let's go and take a look now at how you um, put this widget and get these pictures into your Adobe Muse site. So here we've got our updated IMG, Instant Massive Gallery widget. And the first part we're going to look at in this video is um, just getting the actual album and getting your account into your Adobe Muse site. So for this, you're going to want to just drag this one here. It says IMG version 3.1.1. We've had some updates even fairly recently on this just to give it a few more enhancements. So go ahead and you drag this on the page and we're very fortunate where we live, even though we're in the country that we have a fiber optic um, internet connection. So you can see that this pulls up these images, um, these uh, albums, very quickly. It may take a little longer on yours, depending on what your internet connection is like. But initially, um, we have set it to just pull up the images from our gallery. This is just so you can get started. But let's take a look at the settings and see how you would change this um, to be your Google Photos. So the easiest way is um, to click this section here which says Manage Your Google Photos Gallery. This will open up this neat little utility in your browser that will show you your Google ID, but also allow you to make certain albums public and other ones hidden. Now, first of all, um, if you weren't already signed into your Google account, it will ask you to sign in. Um, but once you're signed in, then that will remain um, saved in your cookies and your browser. And so from then on, it'll pretty much just open straight into this um, interface. Um, I did notice that when I um, first signed into this, quite a lot of my um, albums were on hidden. And so I had to click the little public tab to make all the ones that I wanted to show up in the widget um, public. Um, but once you've done that, you're ready to go. You just need to copy this user ID up here, bring that over to the widget, and paste that into this user ID section here. Um, once you've done that, it may or may not automatically change um, to show your photos straight away. If it doesn't, all that means is that you need it needs to be refreshed, the, the widget needs to be refreshed. And to do that, um, one of the easiest ways is just to um, click here into your source, click into Flickr, and then click, click back into Google Photos. And um, this is just because and when you've updated the user ID, the widget needs to refresh in the background. And just from inputting the user ID, it doesn't automatically refresh the whole widget. So if you find that that happens, that's all you need to do is switch it to Flickr, switch it um, and back to Google Photos and um, it will update everything. So now we can see that uh, we've got a great looking um, widget in here. Um, I see that um, the widget itself has gone beyond um, the amount of albums that I have in it. We see this um, 
uh, grab bar here is 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 below where my photos are. Um, so what I find is, is the best way to do this is to just grab yourself a guide, a horizontal guide, drop this to where your albums finish, and then resize the widget. And the reason you put that guide in, as you can see, is as you start resizing the widget, your images start um, squashing up to the top of the page. So if you didn't have that guide, you wouldn't know where to set the widget size. So go ahead, set that. And once you've done that, um, the poster image, the temporary image inside this gallery will show up just like this. Now what I've done to get these particular images um, as the, uh, um, uh, the pictures that show up first of all is um, in my Google Photos, um, once you've uploaded um, photos, then you um, save different photos out to your albums, and then whichever photo you want, you make those photos the album cover photo. And by making those the album cover, they're the ones that show up first in the widget. So now we've got all this set and basically ready to go. I'm just going to preview this in a browser. So, sh command shift and E and there we go we've got this up in our browser and we can see we've got a nice little rollover effect which um, tells you how many uh, pictures are in each album so let's take a look at this Malta one and now it opens the Malta album and I particularly like this way of laying out the pictures where the different sizes are all kind of tetris in together I think it looks it looks really neat. Um, and then when you click on a particular picture, it will open that in a light box. And then you've got your left and right, so you can go forwards and backwards through your pictures. And you've got your little close down the light box X up the top there. Um, now, one of the great things with this is that these galleries are all going to be responsive. So let's take a look at how that will look. I'm grabbing the handle on the side of the browser. I'm going to slide this over. And you can see that it automatically rearranged those images based on the width of my browser. So this is something that's built into our galleries, is that they're responsive. Um, now, let me take a, just a, one little um, look at a, a slight change. What if we wanted this album here to be full page? Let's go ahead and set that up. Um, now, the way to do that is to make sure that you've got your breakpoints turned on. And if you haven't, go up to View, and where it says Hide Breakpoints, now it would say Show Breakpoints. Once you've done that, you've got these two little arrows at the side here of your breakpoints. So go ahead and click on those and um, make sure that those are facing outwards. And what this does, this make, then uh, makes this fill the browser rather than just maintaining the width that it is inside of Muse. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now with it filling the browser. And we can see it fills the browser nicely. And I'll take a look again at this Malta album because this is the one that I've got the most pictures in. So it's going to fill the screen up. So now let's take a look at the responsiveness with it in full width. And we see that that's, that's great, that's fantastic. Now, do you have any control over the responsiveness of this? Yes, you do. Uh, what we have done is we have preset uh, the responsive breakpoints of this um, to be the main breakpoints that uh, go along with a, uh, a desktop, a tablet, and then a phone. But if I go back to my uh, Muse page and I open the widget up and I go to my breakpoints, you can see that we've put some presets in here. So we've got 1800, 1200, 992, and 480. Um, so these are really set up so that they'll work across the board on the majority of your devices. So you don't really need to, to change these. However, if you have a client that um, has only specifically got one phone and, and doesn't appreciate it unless it's exactly uh, um, set up for his phone, um, then we have made the ability so that you can go ahead and do that and, and change those uh, um, breakpoints. Um, 
generally speaking, I wouldn't bother changing them. They're going to work just fine for pretty much every site. Okay, so that's how you get um, the basic gallery onto your page. You've, we've found out that um, we go to click on this here where it says um, open Google Photo Galleries and this will show your ID and that is the ID that you will paste into here. Once you've pasted that in, um, if your page doesn't refresh automatically, you're going to go up to here, switch it to Flickr and then switch back to Google and then it will refresh to show your albums and we've learned how um, to get the um, album cover art to the pictures that you want it to be. And we've also learned how um, by just changing these arrows outside of the breakpoints um, that it will either fit your browser or it will stay this size, um, which is I think is about 920 pixels wide, no matter what size the browser is. And um, uh, we've learned how um, the breakpoints are set up if you do need to alter those. In the next videos, we're going to take a look at some more of the fine tuning that you can do inside this, um, including some of the other parts. You can see that in this package, you've also got a, a part called Icon Manager and Pagination. So we'll also take a look at those. So um, check in for the next video.